Okay, now I'm going to present a case of breast cancer treated by plasma technology. But before that, I'm going to uh, talk about a little bit my, myself. Uh, I completed the medical school in Mexico, in Mexico, not in Mexico. And then I made a specialty in general surgery and plastic and reconstructive surgery in Mexi Mexico City, in Mexico. And then I make a fellowship in plastic and reconstructive surgery in Madrid, Spain. And I have the honor to be in a country in Italy, making a fellowship also in a beautiful town of Luca. I've been practicing process, plastic and uh, reconstructive surgery for 30 years. So I have a little quite of experience on, on this uh, area. So have, I have this, uh, this patient who was uh, 30 years old, female, who had less breast cancer on the lower inner quadrant. The biopsy uh, comes with an invasive ductal carcinoma, nuclear grade, grade three, which is a very aggressive cancer. We're gonna see some photos. This, this is the, the, the one I warn you that is very uh, um, graphics. Okay, this is a case presented to me when he came to me with this breast. As a patient has a biopsy, and one week after he, she had a biopsy, the breast started to grow enormously. But uh, this patient was put on antibiotic for three weeks uh, and didn't respond. So she was refused to do a, a surgery and chemotherapy and chose two alternative methods, me methods of treatment. When she came to me, it was had energy, high fever, pain in her left breast, and not be able to sleep. When she came to me, he asked me if I can help her. I said, well, we'll try to do this technology. I've seen beautiful results, but we'll, you're play, uh, welcome to try. So she, I, I invite her to stay inside the machine that we'll see later on. And I ask if you see any results after an hour, go home. If you see results, you're welcome to come and we'll start uh, the treatment. What at least uh, allow you to be in, the, in this environment. Uh, she stayed for an hour, she went home, and then the next day in the morning, she said for the first time after several months, she was able to sleep without any pain. So she was willing to start this treatment with this. The only blood test that she, the only blood test that she had is, uh, and the, all the remarkable uh, things that we found is just leukocytosis due to the infections of the process, which is, it means the uh, uh, blood cell, uh, the uh, white cells are, were increased, not out there. Um, and also the anemia and continuous required blood transfusion uh, to the treatment, and you will see those photos and why she needed a, a blood transfusion. So as the doctors, uh, as uh, Dr. Klaus mentioned, we have a group of doctors and we have um, uh, developed a protocol to treat patients, any patients. It doesn't matter if it has cancer, and diabetes, uh, Parkinson, whatever, any disease. This is a protocol that we follow to every single patient. So the first time is we said, if 100% of diseases are involved in some emotions, so we create that a breathing device, a drinking water again. So I'm gonna explain every single uh, one in details. The health plasma unit, targeting the organs, organ organs with specific GANs on CO2 GANs samples. So the breathing device, we use the breathing device to target the emotions. We have seen that we use it when we use CO, zinc GANs and CO2 GANs that mix in the breathing device, we can deal with those emotions. We block the emotions. What, what is important? Why we block the emotions? So understand these emotions. It's, is in the midbrain, we have the tunnels that control the emotions. Let, let me see this, let me put it this way. In the midbrain, when you have access to the midbrain, you can access to everything. You can create any reality that you want. But the way I see it, the midbrain has a little window. And that little window we have to have access to that little window, we have a, like a bottleneck or a funnel. That's a lot of emotions are, in, uh, are inside that block the passage, block the path to or focus to a reality to or um, or creation. 
So instead of say, I want to create a new life for me, I want to do something. I have so much emotion that I created that emotion. So I have access to the midbrain, but put in on and that midbrain, all the emotions. So we create that emotions. And subconsciously, we, we create that reality. Sometimes we don't know which one is reality. The one we leave this as our body or what the one we leave inside the brain. So that inside the brain is creating another reality. Whatever you put on your brain, whatever you put, any thoughts, if you're suffering for something, you're suffering so your body uh, started shutting down the, 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 your brain started shutting down the brain, the, the body, because it doesn't want to leave because it's suffering. So even though you're not committing a suicide, but inside of yourself, you're committing, you are, you are committing a suicide, de developing some kind of disease. So we have to deal with emotions if you want to change that body. So we're using different devices. I personally, I, I make this thanks to Mr. Kesha um, teachings. I create this one with the two, with a, it's a big two with a single one, a small one that is wrapped around it. And that single one, that's one quarter of an inch two is uh, filled with uh, CO2 and zinc gans. So people that breathing that uh, just, uh, just that feel, starting to feel calm, starting to feel uh, they know they have the emotions, they have uh, problems, but they don't, they don't bother anymore. So I know they have those problems, but they don't bother. I feel great. I feel incredible. And people that are awakening, people that are, they meditate, they, they have found that once they have that unit, they start breathing, they can meditate, they can go to an illogical mind uh, faster than without that. It takes one day meditate, it takes a long time to get to the neurologicals to be in that state, they, they can create whatever they want. But that helps us because they get rid of all the, the emotions. So drinking water, the, the other step is drinking water. We use a different, uh, um, against water plasma, is CO2, zinc, C, uh, copper oxide, and C3 to give energy. So the CO2, it takes, as, as we said, the body is made of carbon and oxygen mainly. So we need to give them those elements of the body. So zinc to control the emotions, car, uh, copper oxide to repair or to deal with the uh, muscle tissue, cartilage, uh, ligaments. It helps to regrow all that. The C3 for energy, but in particular patients with cancer, we do not, we never use CH3 on patients with cancer because CH3 give energy to every single cell of the body, but also as well will give energy to the tumor cells. So to, if uh, we give patients who have cancer, we give them CH3, we'll give them, we'll give them a fire, all uh, wood to that fire, so it'll start growing again. So we have to be careful not to give them CH3 patients who have cancer. And also, uh, people who have uh, different diseases, different cancers, we know that the, the people don't die because of cancer. The people die because of the lack of energy. The, the, the cancer takes all the energy out of the body. So um, we're creating this plasma food. It can be in the vial, can be a patches, and uh, it can be a patch, uh, put uh, the plasma, um, plasma uh, food and different uh, patches and put them in your back and, and CO2 in front of the stomach. Or you can create this bias, put in the water, just drink in the water. And people have the energy of those elements. I have myself uh, a bias like this, only put meat, uh, chicken, uh, fish, vegetables, fruit, everything. I have everything there. And so I feel myself through this. So, and also this one, if you want to know a little bit more how to use the plasma, Klaus developed this, uh, um, uh, this um, way of understanding the plasma, how to use it. So you can go on Cats Foundation, uh, uh, for, uh, catsfoundation.org and you can see those uh, um, first eight, plasmatic first eight or, or tablets uh, to explain how to use those elements, those, uh, those plasma. So I myself has help unit, I create this, this uh, things to um, the blueprints that Mr. Kesh uh, told us that I create this uh, plasma unit made of coils and that that's covered the whole body, covers the brain, 
the, uh, the bottom, every size of the body. So the people step inside and feel that energy, feel the effect of the energy. But once the people are inside, we are not just being inside that, that uh, body. This, people say, so if I'm going inside, I'm going to heal myself. Nobody's going to heal yourself. So it's going to change. We create an environment that will allow you to get those elements and your body will start responding to change it, to repair, to repair itself, to re uh, reconstruct itself, to change it. So we don't heal anybody. We don't do that. It's just given the elements that you need. But also, once you are inside that environment, and we have to target an, an organ, like for example, if we have problems with the, with the heart, we're going to put some patches in the heart, a different, using different kinds of GANs uh, uh, in front and back of the heart, inside the, uh, the, the, this, health, this uh, unit, and we still, we can see that change it in the body. We can remove tissue out of the body or we can make regrow tissue inside the body, depending on how to use this uh, technology, this beautiful technology. This plasma unit, as, as I said, it helps to remove and also it helps, it helps to regrow any tissue in your body. So to understand the effect of this technology, we have to know that 80%, in order to survive ourselves, 80% of the energy comes through the skin. And 20% of the energy we need to survive comes through the, the, uh, the food that we eat. So if 80% comes through the skin, that means if that's, and we create this environment, we take, receive the elements that we need. So once we put the elements around that environment, the body will take them. It's like being under the sun and receiving all the elements, the carbon, the oxygen, the nitrogen, the hydrogen from the environment and feel yourself great. That's the same effect with being inside this unit. It creates an environment. It's not, they are not a healing devices. It's only created an environment. As I said before, we have so much pollution outside in the environment. We have so many um, uh, poisons on, and the plants on, um, chemicals on the seeds, on the uh, fruit and the pesticides using for the plants, everything we eating all this uh, poisons. So create, creating so much imbalance in the body. So that's why we start creating diseases. For one state, for one side, we have the emotions and for the other, we, we have the uh, imbalance of those elements. So we creating this environment to give you the elements that your body need in order to repair. And also I created different ones, thanks to uh, Mr. Kent's uh, teaching, we created this one using uh, plasma. Inside the tube, this tube inside another tube, creating, put in uh, uh, plasma, GANS, I put plasma, liquid plasma and, plus, and GANS. So inside you feel that same energy. We have, I have, uh, um, as a group of doctors, we have uh, the privilege to, to have, um, a person, incredible person, who names is uh, Klaus Betreff, is a, a person who can see the energy out of any uh, any devices, and he can see, he could see the energy. I saw him the photo of uh, this two unit, and he see he saw that the first one it creates um, a vortex um, field of energy, and also an energy that goes back and forth to the in the body. And this one create, I mean, not a vortex, uh, a torus, torus uh, energy. That energy comes in from the bottom and goes out uh, up, uh, up, uh, on the top and goes up. It creates a, a, a toroid uh, image uh, of a, a toroid and, um, field of energy. And this one creates a vortex. And it's another thing that I always um, uh, ask the people when you create any devices or this one, put the intention and love. That's a beautiful thing. Another thing that Klaus and Trev saw on these devices when he saw this, I can see, he said, I can see your consciousness, how your consciousness has grown. I see that your same consciousness in, every, in those devices. And I know when you put the intention in every, everything that you build, either plasma, when you're not a quarter, when you put plasma, it's everything's energy. So you are, you are a field of energy. So if you have that energy, the intention and love around your field, you put that intention, that field is, 
inside those elements, that, pl that plasma you made, the GANs, the nanocodon, the unit, every single part that you build in, you put your intention. Even when you, you we have heard so many times that when you make food, you're in the kitchen, if you had on a good mood, you put a love in your food, people feel that love in the food. But as well, when you put in bad intention, you are, you are in a bad mood, you are not um, happy, and you're creating food, people that are eating that food are eating that intention as well. They, ha they will have the same reaction. So we have so many proof that the energy of the, that body affects everything that we have in front of us. Whatever we create, it has our intention, it has a blueprint, and that blueprint is your emotions, your intention, your love. That's why it says when you connect it to the soul, you connect it to the condition of love, and you feel you will change everything. So once we are inside that field creates a loop. Whatever you have in both sizes goes inside and changes. As I said, we can remove tissue from inside or we can add tissues inside your body, whatever the body needs. Once we give them the elements, we create the environment, the body responds. That's simple that is. This technology, once you understand, is so simple. That's, um, I know in the future, there are not going to be any, any doctors here in this community. I would say more than uh, 60 people, 70 people have health units like this. A lot of people are building this unit and they have their own, in their own house. And the beautiful thing is they are sharing with their neighbors. Not only are they teaching their neighbors how to make it, but they're sharing this technology. They have their, their own health unit. They're creating their own environment. And I given all the instructions. I supporting them to get to know uh, to understand this technology and help them to develop whatever they need in order to change the body in order to find the balance so in this, the the last one is the co2 against ampoules as yes, uh, we doing some trials and treating patients with severe condition and we have a beautiful uh, response so people that are not able to come and set up and, and be inside this unit, because normally we put the patients inside uh, between two or three hours inside the machine, one hour, two, three times a day. It means a lot of times inside the, uh, the units. So people are not in good condition. So we're using this uh, plasma CO2 GANs and we having a beautiful response. People with HIV, with malaria, with Ebola, they having a beautiful response. So, and we are opening a new window to pharmaceuticals. We don't want to fight, we don't want to blame anybody who's doing wrong or doing right. We just give in another, another tool to bring to people. If we really want to change the whole world, we have to work each other, we have to work as one. So we bring this new, technology to the pharmaceuticals, to the FDA, to treat it, to check that, to, to um, test it. We don't want to blame anybody, just one, because we don't know who started this. I, I don't think and people are, uh, know, uh, realize what they're what they doing. They start doing something, they started the pharmaceuticals without knowing exactly the, the purpose of this uh, um, company. So we are given another tool. And if they really want to change the world, they want to help them. So we're given another tools to, to bring to the people. So back to this patient, as I said, we have the yes, uh, cancer tumor on the left side. Now they're coming to the uh, graphics. I want you to see it. So, so this patient, as I said, the first thing that we have to address is the emotion. If we don't address the emotions, we are not going to change this body. In the traditional medicine, we've seen all people went to, the, to had a cancer, they had a surgery, chemo, and they healed themselves. But seven years later, they come back. But for on the medical field, they took them as a, a good result, a successful uh, treatment. They given chemo, they given uh, radiotherapy and they succeed. Seven years is incredible. Why it comes in seven years? The body, the whole body changes. The, every single cell of your body, it takes seven years to change the whole body. So you still have those emotions involved in every, and the DNA and the cells. So that's why 
five, seven years later, they bring back that, that disease. They're not, they haven't changed anything. Just put them in, in, in pouch, but they're coming. So on these particular patients, most of the patients, we have to understand, and, and the cash um, uh, foundation and the a group of doctors, we, um, we address every single organ. We try to understand every single organ on your body because it has a different, uh, uh, different ways of, of working, not the way we were taught on, on the medical school. This is a different way. Mm -hmm. But for example, the breast is not like the, the feeding device, a feeding a, a breast to give a mid or sexual uh, uh, um, unit. Is the, uh, the, the breast is a, like a radar, like a, a big sense of emotions. And that is the connect to the emotions of everybody, and especially connected to the mother, connected to the child. So if the breast, left breath is involved in this disease, that means that left breath, left breath, a breast is involved in the connections with the mother or the child. When they have issues and they have problems, inside of the brain says, oh, I regret this connection with my son. I have regret that I have treated this way or whatever. So the, uh, the brain connects that, that have that emotion that, that affecting, what is the connection between the son and the, the mother, the breast? So if it has issues, emotional problems, the, and that connection, so the brain starting to get rid of that connection, which is, is the breast. So that's why they starting to develop the cancer. So we have to deal with this emotion in order to change that, that uh, disease. We are not gonna change this. If we remove it, okay, remove it using this technology but without addressing the emotion, the, the, uh, the disease will come back again. So in order, the, as I said, the less breath is connected to the, uh, the, the child because normally it's the one who used, uh, or the uh, mothers used to breastfeed the babies. The right one is connected more to the husband, to the uh, partner. So if they have issues with the partner and they have uh, that connection with the right side of the breast, that means that that connection has to, the brain wanted to get rid, so it will start having problems with issues with that breast on the right side. So every organ is connected to the environment, the different emotions. Once we understand how the body works, it becomes easier to change it, to bring balance to that body. So, and, and patients with cancer, every single patient with cancer, no matter what kind of cancer, there's some metals involved in this cancer. And we have to understand if it's, it's a, a tumor and it's growing, and it means that it's an incredible gravitational field of pulling everything. They pull in energy of the body, they pull in so much energy, they're starting to grow like a feed itself. So that we have found that this, the seed, the core of that tumor, it's involved some metals. So we have to determine what kind of metals are higher in the blood test. We can use the blood or we can do it on their hair. So once we found what kind of metals is involved, we're gonna start making GANs of that metal in order to change it. So in these cases, most of the cases, 90% of the, of the breast cancer, calcium is involved, but also we have found people with mercury, people will, with uh, arsenic. So once we know what kind of a metal is involved in that cancer, we have to make GANs of that and create a different field. As I said before, with this technology, we can get rid, we can remove tissues out of your body, or we can make or give it elements to regrow part of your body. So if we want to remove that, that tumor or that, that is something that is affecting your body, we have to create an environment to get rid of that. So in this case, a blood test, we uh, asked uh, the, the lab to find, to look for any elements, any, um, all the uh, uh, metals in blood, like for example, calcium, iron, oxygen, magnesium, mercury, copper, zinc, etc. The one we found there is higher, that means that is the one that's involved in, uh, in, in, the, in the tumor. In this case was calcium. So we made calcium, cal, against calcium. And the way to make calcium 
is using the chicken bones. We can use also eggshells, but uh, we found that uh, I have found easier to do calcium against using chicken bones. So we cut them in little pieces and then uh, put them inside the uh, pot and boil them with vinegar four or five times until it gets jelly because it's so hard. So it, once you boil it different times, um, many times with um, uh, vinegar, it comes a little jelly. So once we have that, we put them in a different, in a different jar, remove that, uh, that vinegar, and we put them, those little pieces in, um, in a jar, and we cover it with caustic, which is sodium hydroxide. We cover that, and then we add boiling distilled water. And then we, cre we create that effect. We seal it and leave it for six days. After six days, we'll see that start creating a, um, that gans, that like a powder, like a that magical substance on the bottom. So then we rinse that uh, caustic, we wash them off with uh, distilled water, eight, 10 times. The way I do it, after 18 times, I use my uh, fingertip, I test it if it's still the, the effect of the caustic. I don't recommend to do that. I do it myself. I like to test everything. So I keep washing that, rinse it off until it says completely clean, no a taste of calcium, uh, 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 sodium, no, no taste of uh, caustic. And then at the end, the 11th time or 12th time, I put CO2 against water. After 24 hours, you have calcium. calcium. And they use the water because you don't use the guns. The guns there's in the bottom, here in the bottom, you leave it for you leave it forever. So it will last forever. So you only use that liquid that you put on the patches or rings, whatever you wanted to use it for. And you change the body. So you put it inside this little patch. So we have an example of different patches. You can add that liquid plasma inside those patches. Even you can add on those patches four, five, six different kinds of GANs. If you want to rebuild some part of your body, you can mix the different GANs. So you bring those elements on the body and the body start changing. The way to do it this is in this case is like that we have a cancer. Like this case is we have a big breast. The breast, the cancer was on the right side of the last breast. So we put the, the stronger feel, the stronger plasma or calcium and this are in the left side and the weakest and the arrow. We create a field, like a, like a loop of field that, that whatever is inside that, that thing that it doesn't have to be inside, we blend it inside that field and start disappearing. Once it starts appearing in this case, it started to reject it. The body will start rejecting and one is gonna see those photos that pieces of breast starting to come off of the body. So in cases that we have a small breast or we have a, um, um, a small breast, we put it the, the, the stronger patch on your back and the weakest and, and front, and it creates as well a feel, a loop, a feel that would change this one. That's the same way we're gonna do sometimes patches if we want to rebuild something in your body. That's the way we use it. So I said, once the effect that we start seeing um, just two weeks after the uh, using the unit, the size of the breast is starting to uh, diminish. But because the infection that she had, start, the infection destroyed a lot of the tissue inside the breast. As you see the uh, recurgitation of the veins on the top, so how it start to diminish it. We are seeing this in patients, this is the first, uh, sign that we've seen in patients who have problems with lung, uh, lung cancer or compression inside the menisthenum, that regurgitation of the veins of the, of the thorax disc. And when you see this having a good effect, this is the first sign you see is working. So this patient started because, and all it looks gross. I'm sorry for some people that are not used to see those images, but that uh, a lot of tissues start um, uh, dying inside and see it so aggressive, the cancer and all the effect of the infection inside. Oh, people say, it, okay, this went, um, it started to look worse, apparently, but those, a lot of those pieces of tissues, pieces of, those pieces come, starting to come off. And inside of those tissues, there were calcium 
they were the body will start rejecting that calcium out of the body, the pieces of breast. And it looks gross, it's starting to reject them. But in one way, they started to die, start dying all that tissue, start dying and shrinking and, and pieces coming off of the body. Um, she went to the, uh, the doctors. She, um, every time she, uh, the, the problems with this one, that every time a piece comes, came out of the body, they start bleeding. So that's why she has to go back to the hospital and have blood transfusion. She went down to five most of the time and then put them two or three units to get uh, up to nine to 11. But still, when the doctors and college saw her, um, uh, they, this patient was insulted and insulted and treated like trash by doctors that because she allowed that, that without knowing what happened. They don't want it to do anything. This is, they haven't seen any cancer like that. They have no way of healing. They reject her. And I asked him, why don't you do a biopsy? And they didn't want to do a biopsy. So she's keep coming to the unit. She's, she came here uh, for three months until we have this contracts and all that. And we asked the doctors, please make a, uh, a biopsy. No one wanted to do a biopsy. This is, this is, this is a cancer. I know this is, was a cancer, but why don't you have a, a, a biopsy and see what, what's going on? So finally, they decided to have a biopsy. Actually, we have a scan scan, and that scan scan, the result, the doctors, when they, they report that the size of the, uh, the tumor was incredible less, obviously we see that, but also as well, and the, the most important thing they found is a, lymph, a lympho, uh, lymphadenopathy on the axillas that were growing, but also they were starting to, to, to diminish the size. And we see the patient, patient uh, people who have, or patients who have cancer, if this is a cancer that's so aggressive and so huge, even with smaller cancer, we saw that the cancer spread all over the body has worse results. So this patient, the lymph that were in the beginning big, they're starting to diminish inside. So they decide to finally uh, decide to have a, a biopsy of the tissue and the lymph nodes. And they report this fibro connected tissue with extensive qualitative necrosis and the common stats is uh, the sections of the mass biopsy shown granulation tissue associated with extensive qualitative and calcification which is highly suspicious for tumor necrosis. The adjusting viable tissue shows granulation tissue, stroma fibrosis, and collections of histocyst and mixed chronic inflammatory cells. No evidence of viable, viable tumor seen on the current biopsy. There's no, there, there was no cancer. So one, we uh, waiting for this patient is just a lot of time. We, as a plastic surgeon, we need time to start reconstructing this because all the tissue that this patient has developed is, uh, is a lot and it feels like a, like a rock inside. We cannot handle this tissue, but if we wait a, a year, between eight months to eight years, that tissue will come softer. So we'll be able to handle it. And the way we'll handle this to remove the rest of the tissue that um, the scar tissue was to put in a, a tissue expander to increase the size of that cavity, put an implant and reconstruct that, that, uh, that press.